Hey Cancer, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading. We're going to take a look. We're going to see what messages are coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. This is for my Cancers out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May. Certainly you could be going into June 2024, okay? Cancer, today we're going to start off with the Epiphany Oracle deck. Get some messages for you and your person, your situation at hand. If you enjoy this reading, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. And if you want a personal love reading, be sure to check me out. Go to my website or even Etsy and book a reading there. I do have some sales going on. I also have a line of tarot and oracle decks that I design and create and sell. All right, Cancer. Um, what is the challenge? Let's get right into the challenge for you guys. Challenge in love. We have ready to surrender, okay? So that's your challenge to surrender, right? So when we think of surrendering, you know, cancer, and this could be you or your person, right? This is the act of just letting something happen the way that it should, okay? Not forcing something, okay? So it makes you feel like, is there someone in your life, cancer, where you've been wanting them to do something, You've been expecting them to do something. You've been wanting their cooperation. You've been wanting their loyalty. You've been wanting their, um, you know, them to be consistent, whatever it is. It just feels like there's something here, Cancer, where you're just having to let it go, let it be, okay? Um, and it could be something regarding the future. Some of you guys are looking into your future and you want it to be a certain way. Maybe you want it to be with this person. We have powerless, okay? The power struggle is real. So there's some kind of power control here. I'm getting control issue. Maybe there's some kind of tug of war between you and another person where, again, you know, it feels like I want you to do this. I want I want you to do this, but I want you to want it for yourself as well, okay? So there's some kind of like um, tug of war, okay, in the energy between you and a different, uh, and a particular person here, um, whoever you're thinking and dealing with, okay? So we're going to see what that's all about. Some of you guys, you feel powerless because you can't make this person do anything that they don't want to do, right? So that's why you're being asked to surrender, to give in, to let it be, to let it go. All right, give me the recent past cancer. The judgment in reverse, okay? The death, Scorpio, and the seven of wands in reverse. In the past, there is someone cancer that may have made the wrong decision, okay? A wrong decision about you, about the connection, and it may have been an ending, right? This is someone that may have said, you know what? I'm over this. I'm done. So there was an ending here in a recent past, and it just feels like someone here with the seven of wands in reverse was not willing to fight, protect, defend this connection, okay? They wasn't willing to push for it. Okay, so there was an ending because of someone's bad decision making. Give me the current energy. We have the King of Pentacles in a verse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Two of Pentacles in a verse, and a Nine of Wands. There's also an energy of someone being non-committal. So this is someone that may have not been ready to fight for the connection because they were dealing with other things. There were other priorities in their life. Two pentacles could look like juggling, going back and forth between two people. I almost feel like someone here was not loyal, was not committed, was not ready to contribute their all to this connection. I also look at the king of pentacles in reverse as someone here that is like, very focused on their money matters, their own resources, their investments to the point where they can be very stingy and selfish, okay? Now, there is an energy with the Nine of Wands where someone is like, I still want this. I still want to try. I still want to fight for this, right? So the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. After maybe challenges that you guys have gone through, someone here is saying, I want to still fight for this. Now, in order to do that, someone has to let something go. Okay, so the two pentacles in verse, if your person was juggling, if they had all these different responsibilities and activities that they were doing and they had no time for you, something is about to be let go so that they can make you the priority cancer, right? So it feels like there's something that is being sacrificed. Looking at your person's energy, we also have the page of wands, the justice in reverse, the two of swords, and a six of wands. I like it. So this could be a Libra. There's definitely energy of your person recognizing that I was unfair. I hurt you. I wronged you. Something was one-sided. I didn't do my best. I didn't show up for you. And so I do feel like your person, Cancer, is 
coming in and they're giving some kind of um something a new opportunity okay page of wands for me is a creative idea a spark someone saying you know what i i have a means on how we can fix this i have a plan someone is very strategic and it's very creative and like you know out of the box so page of wands feels like you could be hearing from this person and they're wanting to move things in a new direction um it feels like there's energy and effort being put in now with the two of swords is also a big big head of a hard decision that has to be made right and this could be your person kind of conflicted not being 100 percent sure what decision they need to be making but they know a decision has to be made in order for them to have some kind of victory at the end okay a victory with you so that could look like many different things. But I think ultimately your person, Cancer, is moving toward having that six of wands. Wanting to be seen by you, wanting to be recognized, wanting to be respected, and wanting a victory or success, okay? Some kind of successful outcome with you in the end, okay? So big decisions that are being made by your person, Cancer. And again, it could be that your person reaching out, taking steps toward you. We're going to find out more about that. Give me the outcome. Three of Cups in reverse, the full card, Aries, and a Four of Pentacles in reverse. So I do see a new beginning on the horizon. A full card is a leap of faith. It's doing something, again, like kind of out of the box, like the Page of Wands. It's moving toward um, some kind of new opportunity or new journey. The full card comes with a risk. So someone is like, I'm re ready to take a risk. I'm ready to do something that I typically wouldn't do. Stepping out of my comfort zone. I also feel like this is someone here that is kind of like, putting their past behind them maybe their dealings with other people three of cups four of pentacles of earth could be letting go of something that isn't working regarding other people maybe there was a third party that was um very much a part of their life that was getting in the way of the connection between you and them it also could be like co-workers family friends okay that was just overstepping and you know there just is no time and place for them right so there could be something a person is willing to give up and let go of and sacrifice in order for a new beginning to happen okay so i like it let's jump right in let's see what else we could find out for my cancers All right, ready to surrender, and we have powerless. Power struggle is real. Okay, some kind of power struggle between Cancer and their person. Cancer is being challenged to surrender, okay? Temperance, so there's something here about time, right? The temperance is telling me that some of you guys, you want something to happen like yesterday, right? You may feel like you've given your person plenty of time. So the temperance here is telling me, you know, you've been patient, you've been understanding, you've been keeping your, your cool, right? Um, and so the temperance tells me that, you know, there could be something here that with time it ends up working out, right? Um, and so I almost feel like it, there could be some anxiety, there could be some anxiousness with the temperance in a verse and you're having to just like keep your cool, okay? Wait a little bit longer. Um, could also be a Sagittarius. Give me the recent past, the judgment, and the death. Someone said no. Someone had rejected maybe an offer. Maybe you reached out to them and said, you know what? I want this. I care for you. I miss you. And they weren't interested. King of Pentacles could be definitely an offer regarding stability. could be a commitment. Maybe this person, um, you know, I'm getting into you presented something to this person to be the King of Pentacles. And I don't think that they were interested in that. So someone here may have turned down your offer, an offer for commitment, an offer for some kind of stability. And hermit, someone may have said, I need a time to think about it, right? The hermit is like, I need a moment. Someone here may have felt like I need to take a break. I almost feel like someone's a really deep thinker. And so they may have put this connection on hold. They may have blocked you, ghosted you with the hermit. This could be a Virgo. Um, and that was a bad, bad decision. That was a bad judgment call, okay? Because it resulted in an ending or a death card, right? An ending of a situation or a connection. And for some of you, you looked at it, Cancer, as your person just not being there for you, not fighting for you. Now, the current energy, again, the King of Pentacles came up again with the Two Pentacles. Seven of Wands, someone is definitely saying, I want to fight, I want to defend, I want to protect the connection. You do mean something to me, right? King of Swords, there could be some kind of communication coming through from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
Someone is wanting to communicate maybe about their losses, especially with regard to you, Cancer. Ten of Pentacles in the verse is suggesting your person isn't as secure as they thought they would be. There could be some communication coming to you from another person regarding this person's status. There's two people, Cancer, and I don't think that they're necessarily your energy, although the King of Swords could just be the communication, right? Um, lines of communication between you and this individual. But I definitely get a sense that someone is wanting to fight for something they don't have right now okay because they missed out on it regarding you the judgment they made a bad decision that they said no i'm not interested they rejected an offer regarding you someone is like i want to now change things because i'm not very secure where i am i'm missing something there's something that i need that is more valuable okay page of wands is a new direction coming in the full card and the eight of pentacles in a verse. So someone is changing the way that they perhaps contribute. There's a new beginning on the horizon. The full card is a leap of faith, jumping into the unknown, doing something different, right? Page of Wands, a new direction for sure. And I think it's because your person is recognizing, I did an injustice to you. I wronged you. I hurt you, right? There's also, again, some kind of loss and then want some kind of change. What is this uh, two of swords about? Some kind of head of a heart decision. Ace of Swords, communication. Someone here may have lied to you, maybe regarding their status. This could even be regarding like a marriage. This person could have said, you know what, I'm not married, but you know, they secretly were. Um, there's communication coming in with the Ace of Swords. It's very honest and truthful and direct, especially if in the past that we're not communicating truthfully, okay? There's a big head of a heart decision regarding finally opening up and being honest with you. The Six of Wands is a victory energy. Okay, I like it. Someone is kind of like looking at this as a trade-off, right? They're revealing their secrets, the moon card, the ten of swords. They're revealing something that has been unknown to you. They're revealing something that has been hidden from you. And it's kind of like them saying, I need to tell Cancer this because it's going to come out anyway. And I'd rather tell Cancer, right, from my own mouth, Ace of Swords, be honest, truthful, and let them know, right, spill it all out. As opposed to them finding out some other means. Because the moon in the verse is revealing, okay? It's coming out. It's like secrets all, all being revealed, okay? And it feels like someone is like, instead of cancer finding out and resulting in a ten of swords, a complete ending, a failure of this connection, right? Someone is like, I'm going to beat them to it. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be truthful. And then there's a better opportunity or better outcome, right? A better opportunity for me to have what I want in the end. Cancer, someone is going to be honest because they do realize that it results in a better outcome for them, right? With you. So, full card, a new beginning, leap of faith. So, there's a new beginning with regard to something that didn't work in the past. Ace of Wands in the verse and a Five of Swords. Someone is in conflict about something here that never really got off the ground regarding you and them, right? Ace of Wands, there was a lot of um, energy, passion, excitement, desire for something. And it just never really truly got off the ground. And someone is like, you know what? I want a new beginning. I want to start over. I want to sleep of faith. I'm willing to do something I typically don't do. Um, and so, yeah, it feels like your person's going to, you know... Five of Swords, there's some conflict within them. But there's an energy of like, I want to do this because I realize that this is what I need to do. There also could be some kind of new beginning coming in with regard to you and them. Because someone is saying no to a third party with the three cups in the verse. They're pulling away Ace of Wands in verse. No longer giving to their selfish desires, okay? Um, so that is what I'm seeing, Cancer. A lot of messages for you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoy readings like this, let me know. And if you want a personal love reading anytime I'm here, go to the description box, okay? Um, and see the link there to purchase a reading. All right, Cancer, take care. And I'll check you guys out later.